Yo, hello everyone. Do you want to organize your data and perform calculations effectively? In this video, we will walk you through the basics of setting up a simple spreadsheet on Google Sheets from entering data to applying formulas and you will learn the essentials to get started with this powerful spreadsheet tool. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So simply guys, once you have launched your browser, make sure that you have an account on Gmail, which is simply by going to gmail.com on Google. Right after that, you connect your account, everything will be good. Here you will find this apps location, click on it. And then scroll down and you will find sheets. Click on it and here you go. Here you will have your sheets. So I will just translate the page to another language. For example, here I need English. So go here, go and translate it for another language. Um, choose another language and then I will choose from here English. Here we go, translate. So here you will find all your own sheets. If you don't have anyone, you can simply click on this empty to create a new one. So here we go, we have created a brand new sheet. Now what you can do is simply start making and creating stuff on the sheet. First thing, I will try to translate it and write back to you guys. So back to you guys, finally, I have changed the language successfully. So here we go and let's continue with this tutorial. So this is the sheet, how it looks like. So it's going to be something like Excel. If you have any experience with it, it's going to be the same for here as well. Now, let's start with the basic things. These are cells and these are like, this is a cell, as you can see. And this one, as you can see, is a column. And this is a line. Or you can call it a row if you'd like as well. So basically, if you want to type anything, you will have to go to a cell. The cell ID is actually the name of the row, which is A, plus the line. So it is called A1. For this one, it is called B1. Let's say, for example, we went over here. It will be the name of it, G, and here, 11. And as you may see, it will be in the name box right in here, as you can see. Now, what that could help us with, I will show you right in a couple seconds. Now, first of all, let's start by creating data form. Let's like click here and add, for example, hours, payments per hour, and here, results. Here, let's do this. So, this can be, in the beginning, kind of ugly to see. What I'm going to do is select those three, go to here, and click on alternating colors, and choose a style. So, first I will select more than one column, one cell I mean, or one line, and then choose alternate on multiple lines. So, we'll do this, do this, and let's pick that over here as well. I will, if you had kind of like the mistake that you can see here, instead of copying this color and pasting it here, you can simply click here and delete this row. So let's delete it. As you can see, it will be deleted. You can even clear the row if you'd like, and you can also hide the row. So you will have three options to go for. It is completely up to you to do so as well. So it is your uh, your option. Now, if you'd like to go back, you can just simply click on Control Z, and it will be fixed. So let's click on Done, and let's add it once more. Uh, let me just uh, do this something like that. I choose here the columns. So I'm going to choose all of this, and then click on OK. Here it still looks kind of ugly, so I'm going to click on it and change the color from black to white and add some boldness to it. Make it in the middle and here we go. That looks much better. 
here click and add the data so let's say for example here we'll add some random numbers three four three um, here five six five and two and here for example zero let's remove this here we go I'm going to place it here white actually and we are now ready to go here let's say that the payment per hour is gonna be five dollars per hour so I'm going to add here five and then if you'd like instead of repeating five in all of these lines or cells all you have to do is click on the cell that has the number that you want then click on this corner which is the circle and drag down here we go now it still looks kind of ugly so I'm going to select all these three and then make them in black uh, in black here and then add boldness and then also in the middle since this one is payment per hour so it is currency I'm going to add here currency and then remove the decimal number now it is on dollar, euros you can change it to whatever currency you'd like to make it in just by clicking on currency options and then changing it into it for the results for example now we have to use formulas so instead of you going to your calculator and doing 5 and 3 multiply by 3 and getting 15 you can just go here into the results section and write this formula which is equal choose just click on the cell and then click on multiply and then choose the cell then here you go as you can see they give us the answer for this one so the for three hours of working you'll get about fifteen dollars here the same thing instead of writing the formula in all of those rows or lines or cells you can just target from over here all the way down and it's gonna be these payments for you so the results are completely automatic for you you can also use this technique not only for uh, uh, multiplying but you can also do addition and all other kind of formulas that you think of there is other thing that you can add which are some kind of list drop-down list that you can do for example yes or no list you can write here yes for example and instead here for example no instead of making like that you can just make a list by going to data and then go to uh, data validation and here you can add an option so option one yes option two no here you choose the color here for example yes green and no is red click on done and here you go so now you have a list you can now choose between yes or no simply by the data that you have here and don't have any fear of losing your process you don't have any saving button here so spreadsheet google will save it for you every time you do a modification so you don't really have to fear anything and even though they are saving your progress you will not lose your uh, like uh, old stuff so you can still go to Control z and get back to your old checkpoints which is a very good thing in spreadsheets so yeah guys that was like the basics of google spreadsheets i hope you like this video if you had any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section and see you guys in the next tutorial